after the end of Future Trunk Saga, we had some much needed refreshments. We got Goku vs O'Reilly and then the great baseball match, but shit is about to get real. As Dragon Ball Super Episode 71 will probably mark or lead up to the beginning of a new arc and it looks like it's going to be darker than ever before. Goku narrates, sorry everyone, this time I might die in episode 71 trailer. Hell yeah, from what we know, someone hired Hitman Hit to kill Goku. Note that it has already been declared who hired Hit and so I will mention later in my video as it is a huge spoiler, I didn't want to start with that. Hit is the biggest DBS exclusive success and is a fan favorite character. His return alone would be a headline worthy news, but him taking on Goku takes everything to the next level. In this video, I will break down the preview of DBS episode 71 as I also look forward to seeing your opinion and predictions down below in the comment section. First, let's check out the preview summary. Dragon Ball Super Episode 71 The Death of Goku The granted assassination mission to be carried out The return of the legendary assassin hit He must murder Goku On an ordinary day, Goku feels the presence of a blood-stained individual The one who came to kill Goku is the assassin hit A fierce fight between Goku and hit begins so what we understand is, Hit will try to kill Goku, and he should be able to do that successfully. Specially provided Hit got the upper hand on Goku in the Universal Tournament, where rules restrict his specialities, Hit is an assassin and most of his finishers is deadly attacks that can kill his opponents. However, in the tournament, he couldn't use it as it was directly against the rules, and technically, still defeated Goku. Goku did walk out, but even if he didn't, he would eventually lose as his body was wrecked by Kaioken. So Hit has a very high possibility of carrying out the order successfully. Still, we don't know what will happen, if Hit will have a change of heart, or if it is someone other than Hit. But from the preview summaries of episode 71 and 72, it's quite clear that Goku isn't going to die in episode 71 as it'll only mark the beginning of the fight. But in the trailer, we see Gohan and Goten crying. It's probably because he'd started by hitting Goku with a shockwave, leaving Goku in a near-death situation. To understand that better, we need more spoiler. That is the preview summary of episode 72. Dragon Ball Super Episode 72 Can You Counter Attack An Invisible Assassination Technique The conclusion of the fight between Goku and Hit Goku is on the ground after taking the shockwave of Hit at point blank range. One might think that their fight has finally ended, but. So this makes it clear that the encounter will go on at least up till episode 72. So what about Gohan and Goten crying? Goku isn't dead. If Goku isn't dead, why are they crying? It's just because Goku kind of died and then came back. Will be explained later. There's a popular theory going on in the DB fan community that Gohan might finally return as the badass he is following all those new threats. I think plot-wise it would be an incredible decision to kill off Goku, as it would finally give enough space to characters like Gohan and other Z fighters to shine. We even got this picture from a magazine where we see Gohan in his ultimate form, also human Z fighters like Roshi, Tien and Krillin. The new Z squad we got in the Resurrection F saga after cutting off Chia Zhu and Yamcha. I think even they might have a role in this arc. Which is why we got a Yamcha filler. Surprisingly enough, we also have Android 17 here too. Makes me wonder about the next arc. Added to that, episode 73 title also has Gohan. The title is Gohan Gets Into a Movie, airing date January 8. I would love to have Gohan back, no matter how they do it, but I think it would be slightly typical if Goku triggers him to become great again. 
We have seen things similar to that in the past. I would rather pay to see Pan or Vidal triggering Gohan to power up. Also some fans are theorizing that the guy trying to kill Goku might not be the hit we know and that he might be from the same race as hit or looks similar to hit. But that idea is wrong as it was clearly shown in the trailers, we got a leaked image of it, also there it looked like he was looking for work to face Goku, and the preview summary mentions it multiple times. Added to that, we got massive spoilers which almost gives us the full plot of the coming few episodes. Yes, he has some respect for Goku as he deliberately lost to Monaka after Goku forfeited. But he's an assassin after all. Even if he eventually becomes a positive character, that is very likely to happen due to the fan popularity, he will have a good story depicting why he would change the ways, similar to Tien, Piccolo, or Vegeta. I like the foreshadowing game going on in there. In the episode 71 trailer, we see Goku standing in the iconic arena where he fought Vegeta in the science saga. DBS is giving proper respect to Head, and I think there's a lot that we can get from him. Now I'm going to read out the massive spoiler that we got recently. It'll clear you what really happened to Goku and most importantly who hired Head to kill Goku. I have been vague till now but the spoilers are coming, so you have been warned. Hit goes all out to battle Goku again. Goku dies after his heart takes a direct strike from Assassin Hit's invisible shockwave. But he manages to return to life after receiving a shock from Key Blast he fired immediately before dying. Now Goku's counter attack begins. Who hired Hit? Vados was the one who hired Hit to kill Goku, but it seems she was merely acting as a representative for Hit's true client. Who could that be? Goku has seen through Hit's technique what strategy will he use to counter it. Back to the episode 71 trailer, Goku can feel the presence of an inconvincible individual but can't sense his energy. Ability to hide energy or power level should be a typical ability for a hitman guy because you know they're supposed to hit out of nowhere. If you see the trailer in the beginning it's Goku chilling and shopping but then when shit gets serious we get this darker shit that brings a lot of seriousness. We get this essential element in the last saga but we're missing in the first two arcs. Just happy to know that they are keeping things serious. The biggest question was who the heck hired Hit? Goku is now a character who is known all around the universes thanks to GodTube. We even saw Kawasu watching Goku vs Hit on GodTube. So the enemy might be anyone. It'd be good for us the fans if it were someone like Broly or Bardock. Just kidding. Now we know. It is Vados, great twist, but Vados has always been my first guess regarding this matter. Still, I can't really guess her motive or reasoning behind doing this. Of course, it says she was merely acting as a representative of the true client, but the problem here is Vados is an angel. And as we said earlier, they're supposed to always remain neutral. So how can she do such an act? Like Vados and Champa were here playing baseball just an episode ago. Could it be Champa? I don't think so. Then it should be someone godly as Vados is helping. Do you think it could be the Grand Priest? Okay, more spoilers. The next arc is going to be about the multi universal tournament. It's going to be a fun tournament, like you know, a Royal Rumble, except the losing universes gets destroyed. At least that's what it sounds like from the preview posted by Toei earlier on. At Goku's request, the Omni King's Tournament of Power Martial Arts Tournament between Universes now begins, but this also proves to be the beginning of Universal Destruction. What awaits the victors of the tournament and the vanquished? How will this intense team battle between the allies of each universe?
guitar or not. Lastly, I want to talk about Goku. It looks like Goku isn't going to die and will bounce back from death. Could this be the reason battles on behalf of someone hired hit to clear out Goku? Because no matter how much friendship you have, if it's about survival, you have to take some hardcore decisions. You, you know Goku is also responsible for combining two Omni Kings. We don't know what kind of impact it will have and could also be the reason some gods want Goku dead. Lastly, I want to talk about Goku. It looks like Goku isn't going to die and will bounce back from death, but if it were up to me, I would get Goku killed. Firstly, because he never got killed. He died two times before, but both the times it is more of a sacrifice. And as I mentioned earlier, it would clear up the path for other characters to shine, especially for Gohan. And also for all the Z fighters who weren't getting any chance. Then again, we have the Universal Tournament, so I have my faith on Toriyama and rest of the squad. So that's about all for now, make sure to comment your theories and predictions down below. If you love to read or make DB tourists, check out Dragon Ball Z Super Tourist as well as Dragon Ball Fanverse on Facebook. Links are attached in the description down below. I am incredibly grateful to have you all in my channel. If you don't want to miss my videos, hit the bell and turn on notifications beside the subscribe button. See you in the next Dragon Ball video.